Okay, so you are ready to publish a press release on the Janus Wire. Here is our press release. We are uploading it today as if we are members of the Ministry of Diaspora Affairs. We want to upload the release to the wire. So you come to JNS.org, you click on Wire, which is in the navigation bar at the top. What we want to do is to publish your press release. Okay, we're already uh, signed up to publish press releases, so we click here to log in. You can also bookmark this page, which is jns.org slash submit dash wire. Okay, so you use the password that we gave you. Uh, so here we made one for the Ministry of Diaspora Affairs. I'm going to copy the password, and we're going to put it here. And we're going to log in. You can also click Remember Me so that the site remembers you. Okay, there's a few. Uh, we're not going to remember that. There's a few tools right over here that tell you uh, to click on Add My Release, which is over here. Uh, and then you can enter a headline, subheadline, text of the release, featured media, uh, add additional media. You can also add YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter links. You can create hyperlinks. So some of this information is here for you. Uh, you'll see it here if you uh, forget how to do anything. And if you have any, any trouble, you just send an email to us and we will get back to you. Um, also note that there is a coupon code uh, for this uh, to make publishing press releases free. It's Corona 5780. Don't worry about it. You'll see it at the end as well. We're going to add a new release. Let's get started. Perfect, so add title. So we just take the headline of our release. Here it is, Israeli government approved strategic framework. Uh, usually good to have the headline be somewhere in the neighborhood of around 12 words. Uh, and then you wanna take a subhead as well. Should be about one sentence is probably a good amount. Here they put a very long one. We'll, we'll use this later. I'm gonna show you something cool that we can do with this quote. Uh, but basically a one sentence underline is really good. Um, we put the main body of the release here. So we're going to grab here and copy the main body of our release. As you can see, I'm just doing this off a of Word document. All your uh, formatting and styles will be preserved. So you just paste it in here. You see everything pastes in really nicely. I'll show you how to do some things inside in a moment, but before that we scroll down, we can put a, a date line here. So we'll, we'll type in Jerusalem for that. Uh, name of the organization is the, uh, what happened there? Everything looks good. Ministry of Diaspora Affairs. Good. Description of your organization. Usually it's on a press release, so we just take it and we just uh, paste it in there. We can add an organizational logo, so we will upload a file. You can select your file here. We have here a, min a logo. We'll open it. The logo needs to be 400 by 400. Uh, pixels. So, so work on that first. Make sure that it's the right size so it renders properly in all the places on the site. It should be a square 400 by 400 pixel logo. As you can see here, we'll use this file. And you see it comes up there really nicely. Now we have the organization or PR agency of the media contact. Sometimes this will be uh, the organization itself has their own internal person or you want to make it look like the person belongs to the actual organization or you might be uploading it as a PR agency in which case you'd want to put here the name of the agency so here it's the media advisor to the Minister of Diaspora Affairs so we'll paste that there uh, the name of the media contact is Marit Shaked Barak so we will paste that there she didn't give us an email, so we can just leave it blank. Any field that you leave blank, it's fine. And, uh, it ren everything renders very well uh, without anything if you don't have something there. So that's basically that. We are going to 
do this from the Ministry of Diaspora Affairs. This is important to put it here as well. And we want to now start putting images and media. So the most important image is the featured image. This is the one that goes at the top of the article. So, and also on the home page of JNS or in any of the topic pages. So we want to take this great picture of the minister Omar Yankovich. So we will take this picture that we have here. In addition to the picture, you can also put in your caption. Uh, you put it here. If you see any crazy formatting, you just take it out. No problem. That happens sometimes with Flash 90. You're probably not going to have that. Set featured image. Okay, great. And you can see it comes up here. That's going to be the image at the top. You want your featured image uh, to be a horizontal image. Okay, that's really important. You want it to be horizontal uh, so it goes across the page nicely. And there's a few other things that we can do now inside the release. First thing is that we have another photo uh, that we'd like to stick inside and you can put an unlimited number of photos. If you want to do that, you just find the place in the text where you want the photo to go. You skip a line in the text so that you have a you have your cursor basically in its own paragraph and you click on this little add media button over here. Now you can upload the file again. So we're going to put this photo here of the minister and the other members of the committee that helped her. Okay. And we have our caption here. Uh, so we'll just paste this here and we can also write that it is the courtesy of the Ministry of Diaspora Affairs. What is super, super critical is that whatever photo you put into your press release that you actually have the rights to use that photo. Okay, it's, it's a critical, critical thing. You cannot rip a photo that you don't have the rights uh, to use. And to put it here, the photos have to be your photos. That is really important. Uh, now there's a few other things that we can do in the text. Um, before I, I showed you here that the subhead was a little bit long and it included a quote from the minister. So what we can do is we can actually stick it inside the text as a special quote. So here we see uh, the quote, uh, the minister is making some quotes, so we can stick it here. We skip a line, again, uh, make it its own paragraph, paste this thing in. Now what we can do is we highlight it. And we can switch the format of it and to make it into a beautiful quote. And you'll see what that looks like in a moment. Uh, now, some other things that we can do. We can put in a, a video clip inside the press release. We just skip a line and you go to uh, either your YouTube video or Vimeo or this also works for a tweet or for a Facebook post. You just take the URL of the tweet or the Facebook post or the video, you copy it, and you just stick it right in there and you let the CMS system work its magic. And just like that, you have your video clip of the minister inside. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can put a lot of hyperlinks uh, inside your article, however you whatever you want to be linking to, whether it's the, the ministry itself. So here, let's, uh, let's put a link. So you just highlight the text that you want to be hyperlinked. You click on the little hyperlink uh, icon and we will find the URL of the ministry is, we lost it. Okay, let's see, the ministry of the Asper Affairs. Okay, we will take the home page of the ministry right here and just copy that URL and we stick it right in here. Now, okay, looks good. Now, a few places, a little bit later on here in the article, you see that there's a listing of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Absorption, the Jewish Agency. So let's say we wanted to link out to those organizations. So again, we just highlight what we want to link. And here we have the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So we'll copy that URL. And we'll just stick that in right there. Uh, here we want to make a little shout out to the Ministry of Absorption. 
So we do the same thing. Uh, that is here. And we'll stick that in. And then Jewish Agency for Israel, we want to create a little link to them. Uh, so we do the same thing. We just highlight the text. We click on the little hyperlink logo. And we take the URL. And we stick that there as well. Okay, so basically we've stuck everything in the release that we could possibly think of. Everything's here. That's it. If you have a second organization that you represent, you're doing something together, uh, an initiative with two organizations, you can add another organization. They'll both appear on the press release. Uh, you can always save your draft and we can do a little preview of the release to see what this is gonna look like. Very important always to do a preview and make sure that it looks exactly like you want. Here's the little logo. Here is the name of the organization, Ministry of Diaspora Affairs. You have your headline, your subhead, your featured media with the caption. You have here the media contact, phone number. These links up here are great. It makes it really easy to share, to share your press release once you publish it. Uh, you could see here that we added our hyperlinks. See here we added a media in the middle and it has a beautiful caption. We have more hyperlinks to different things that we wanted to link out to. We had a pull quote uh, from the minister that we stuck in the middle of the article. We put in a video. And then you get down to the bottom about the publishers. And again, you have the logo, you have the name of the organization and the about. And... That is your preview. You wanna go back and continue to payment. This is a really important step. Okay, you see here, JNS Wire Checkout, publishing a press release on the JNS Wire costs $40. Discounts are available for regular wire users and organizations. Yet, during the extended coronavirus crisis, JNS is allowing organizations to publish their press releases for free. Simply add the coupon code during checkout, Corona5780, which is the Jewish year, 5780. So we just, uh, just fill in our information. Okay, we do next. And we put in the coupon code right here, very important, apply. Okay, see 100% off, amount is now zero. And we put in our, you know, our little, uh, email address and our name, complete. Wonderful, okay, approved, excellent. Now you see the page is, is working over here. And thank you for submitting your press release. The payment has been accepted. Your release will be reviewed by an editor to ensure it meets JNS guidelines. If the press release is approved, it will be published within 48 hours. Great, let's see all my press releases. This is the only one I've done so far. It is pending and someone from JNS will approve that and we will publish. And that is how you do it. 